All right, so if you are not able to do waves on a string, you're gonna follow along with me doing the example, and then you can write down all of the data. So in this simulation, uh, you are going to investigate how different variables such as amplitude, pulse width, and tension affect the speed of the wave. Um, if you have not done the pre-lib questions, do those now. Okay, so we're on the wave on a string on set, and what we want to be able to do is to create a wave disturbance so it's easier to measure its speed, okay? We can use the ruler and the timer to help us measure. So the ruler and the timer. So ruler, here's the timer. Okay, we're gonna keep those on the side. We need to measure a specified distance for each trial. I am gonna go from zero to three centimeters, okay? So before you begin, you wanna make sure you reset everything, which is this big orange button down here. Um, this is just in case you were playing around with the simulation. Obviously, if you're watching this, you probably have not done it, okay? So we're gonna start off with uh, five. So we have the ruler and the timer to record the distance. And we're gonna select the following parameters. We're gonna make sure we're on pulse. Okay, that's where it's going to create one line there. Okay, and we're gonna make sure we have no end. So then as soon as we pulse, it will go out the window. And then we're gonna have dampening as none and tension as high. Okay, so those are set. Uh, amplitude and pulse width will determine what we need later. So you will have your data table on the back of your worksheet. So we're keeping uh, the distance from zero to three and we're measuring that. We want the amplitude at 25 centimeters. Let's just put it there. Okay. Oops. We want tension high and we want pulse at 0.50 seconds. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're trying to measure the time that it takes to go from zero to three meters. So we're gonna push, pause here, we're gonna push play on the timer, and then we're going to send a pulse through. Okay, that was really quick. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna reset the timer, and this time I'm gonna click on the slow button. We'll start the time on slow motion, okay. All right, we started at one. Oh, I went too far. One more time. So I'm gonna stop it right before the three and I'm gonna inch it forward. Um, there we get to three. So for time, you should get 0.72. Right now we're gonna bring the amplitude up to 50. Restart. Oops. All right, now we're gonna send the pulse through from 50 amplitude. Pause it, bring it forward. Oh, we're at 0.72 again, okay? Reset, now let's bring the amplitude up to 100. Send the pulse through, very big now. All right. And again, it's 0.72. So amplitude does not affect the time of a wave. Okay, let's restart everything. And now we're gonna go on to how does the pulse width affect the speed. So we're going to keep amplitude at 50. And pulse width, 
we'll start at 25. Start the timer, start the pulse. Oh, just passed it. Start over. Okay, so the time is 0.59. All right, we're gonna increase the pulse width to 50. Send that pulse through. Obviously, we can already see that it's moving slower. Okay, time is 0.72. Now we're going to bring the pulse width up to 100. Okay, pulse width time for 100 is 0.97. All right, last but not least, we are going to test the effect of tension on time. So for tension, we're going to have amplitude at 50, pulse width at 50. And we're going to have tension start off at low. Okay, so everything's good. So we're going to send the pulse through. All right. <laughs> Let's wait for it to get all the way over there. All right, I'm going to pause it right there so we don't miss it. All the way to the top of the peak. Okay, so we're 2.62 for tension on low. Let's restart. Let's bring tension up to medium. All right, and there's the pulse. Okay, so tension on medium is 1.03 for the time. And last but not least, let's do tension on high. Send a pulse through. And we get 0.72 for the time. Okay, so looking at this, we're going to answer those questions below. How does amplitude affect speed? How does wavelength affect speed? And how does tension affect speed? So you guys can do that. And then do the at home example of grabbing the corner of a blanket. Okay?